If I was to name three things that I feel I probably do in every mix, um, one is to not have any preconceptions about um, how you would go about something. It's always good to have a, a starting point that um, if all else fails you can get to, but I think it's important to just get in there and try stuff and don't be afraid of moving faders and cutting stuff and being a bit brute force with the editing. Um, secondly, I would stop looking at meters and just listen. I think that's really important in this day and age. There's far too much goes on looking at screens. Uh, it has its place, but you've got to separate editing and technical stuff from the creative process of listening and, and just working on the stuff. And I guess the third thing that's really important to me is there's a reason that controls go from 0 to 11 and minus 11 or 15 or whatever. They're there to be used. The same reason that um, compressors go to minus 20 on game reduction. There is no rule as to what a compressor should be doing. Anybody that thinks a vocal needs to be compressed at 3 to 1 and only knock 3 dB off all the time is deluded try everything you never know what can happen uh, I've learned that off some great mix engineers and you end up taping the meters over with some console tape because it's irrelevant as long as it comes out and makes the hairs go up on the back of your arms then you've done your job right so really um, it's that old adage no rules just give it a go the only thing you can break is a speaker and the studio owner won't be very happy that's why I always bring mine but you can't break the equipment, you can just try stuff and that's when the um, the fun stuff starts happening.